Alrighty, so I'm gonna make a really quick video for you day, uh, today for you guys on um, how to have your best day at Canada's Wonderland in their busiest season yet. So with the introduction of Yukon Striker, this is gonna be one of their busiest seasons yet and it's going to be awesome. This coaster is amazing and I've been on it 27 times already so I thought what better way to make your lives easier than to give you my opinions and advice on how to get on Yukon Striker. So um, my first suggestion would to honestly uh, buy your tickets on your phone or having them ready to scan at front gate. This will help you avoid the long line to get your tickets at front gate and get right to riding Canada's best collection of roller coasters. Um, I would also suggest checking out their early ride times. Um, so each week Canada's Wonderland will offer early ride times. So you're gonna wanna go check out canadaswonderland.com and you can click details and look at which ride is having early ride time. So for example, tomorrow I'll be at Canada's Wonderland on Yukon Strikers early ride time. Um, I would honestly invest in buying fun picks for the season or days. It's only $44 for the year. And this is one of the rides plus more in the park where you're gonna wanna get your pictures um, after you ride. And if you're a family, you can literally take up two rows on a ride. You can get as many pictures as you want. You're not limited to a ride or anything. So for example, yesterday I rode Yukon Striker 20 times in a row and I literally picked up um, the pictures and I even like picked up pictures from my friends that rode with me. So you're able to zoom in. So I'd grab two copies in the same row. So super awesome, super friendly, love the service. Um, definitely suggest fun pics. It's my new favorite thing to have on my pass. Um, I would get Fastlane if you're going on a weekend or a hot summer day. Um, if that's not in your budget or you don't feel like spending cash on something like Fastlane, there is a single rider's line. The single rider's line can, um, not always though, make your wait shorter and is there if you want to ride alone. Emphasis on ride alone. Just note you cannot ride with friends or groups if you choose to wait in the single riders line. I did notice some guests would line up with their friends in the single riders line because it's shorter, a lot shorter on some days, and then they would expect to ride together. Um, so just know that you can't, if you're in the single riders line, it's literally there to fill in the gaps on the train um, for groups of like seven or five, you know, odd numbers. Um, so the team on Yukon Striker is absolutely amazing. And if there's even a full queue line, um, the wait won't be too long, so don't panic. The operations on this ride are already amazing and the friendliness of the employees you encounter throughout your experience make it that much better. I'm honestly not over-exaggerating it. Um, I've had my best year yet at Canada's Wonderland. The, uh, the employees at every ride, especially Yukon Striker, are absolutely amazing. They're talking to guests as you're riding. They're building up your excitement. You know, they're having conversations. It's definitely amazing to see. I definitely am loving it. Um, we spent the other day riding Yukon Striker and we quickly got to know the team and loved watching their interactions with guests and how over the top they went to make you feel important and excited about the ride experience you were about to encounter. Um, if you don't mind waiting in a one to two hour line and want to get other things done, my honest advice to anyone coming to Canada's Wonderland would be to go do other rides in the park and go queue up for Yukon Striker last. I would arrive around 8 p.m. to the line as um, sometimes if the park's really busy, they may close the queue line a little earlier to ensure they're getting out on time. This allows you to experience other attractions, shows, and food and still get on Yukon Striker last. Under no circumstances should you leave Yukon Striker's queue line for a washroom break, food, or beverages. Canada's Wonderland has a zero tolerance policy um, for line jumping and they're taking it really seriously this season and kicking anyone out of the line that line jumps. This includes joining your friends or family in line as they wait. I can't stress this enough how amazing the team at Canada's Wonderland has been with their customer service and enforcing rules and safety regulations. They are taking it very seriously and it's really nice to see them also providing that amazing service to the other people and waiting in line and kicking out anyone that has line jumped um, the line. So if you're a slightly larger um, body size uh, height wise or <laughs> width wise, um, I would suggest testing out the test seat out front of the queue line before you board. I'm a, a, a tall dude and a big dude and I can fit comfortably in any of the seats. So it is a very accommodating ride. Um, and it does have two larger fitting seats per row on Yukon Striker. Um, so it's a very accommodating ride um, otherwise outside of that. And the ride attendants out front are very helpful and will help you with any questions you may have before or while waiting, um, have which row you'd like to sit in predetermined. So the line splits near the end into rows one and rows two and three combined. 
The team is very helpful and friendly, and from what I've seen with um, everything, they try their best to accommodate you if possible. Um, please don't be rude or upset if you can't get your choice uh, the first time, and understand they're trying to get as many guests onto this ride as quickly as possible while ensuring everyone's safety. So again, just don't be rude. You may not always get your preference, but from what I saw, they are being extremely fr uh, friendly and super accommodating, um, which is rare for theme parks, so I definitely love to see that. Have all your loose belongings ready to be put into your new into the new baggage system at the top of the stairs as you're sorted into your rows. This includes all loose belongings and bags. Canada's Wonderland is an amazing park that won't force you uh, to get lockers to ride the ride as it has a new system in place to help prevent theft and a place for you to store your belongings while you ride. Your belongings will raise above the station in a very easy explanation and be transported to the exit and only um, brought down when you arrive to pick them up after riding. It's a very cool to watch um, and made me feel very comfortable leaving my bags while I ride. With all this in mind and all the cool theming and attention to details surrounding you, prepare to board the train and buckle yourself up for one of Canada's Wonderland's most intense coasters ever. Again, the overall experience from friendliness of the cast members to the atmosphere and theming and the overall ride experience, you're in for a treat this season as Canada's Wonderland um, introduces Yukon Striker. So hopefully this helps you prepare for your first and many rides on Yukon Striker at Canada's Wonderland this season. And I honestly just wanted to give you guys any advice I could think of um, to getting on this coaster and enjoying your day at Wonderland. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll try my best to answer anything. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video and you're having a great weekend. Have a good one, guys. Bye.